And I like to flip the question on its head because it, it flips all of our assumptions, right? All of our assumptions are normally that what are the problematics of non-disabled people choosing non-disabled children? Well, what are the, are the problematics or is it purely um, beneficial for uh, disabled parents to, to select for uh, dis disabled uh, uh, children? And part of people's hesitance around this is because we view disability as purely a negative, right? That surely no one would want to select for disability or surely a disabled life is not as rich and full and full as full in potential as an able-bodied life. And Elizabeth Barnes and others have really pushed against this, that we can perhaps have a value neutral model of disability. And deafness is one of those unique ones where the deaf community, because of its history of advocacy for deaf culture, has really been able to push this notion that deafness is merely cultural difference, merely linguistic difference, and not um, um, uh, um, uh, does not have some of the negative consequences as some of the other disabilities. But when you view, and, and, and they like to present that as unique, and we often have more empathy of seeing deafness as merely linguistic difference. But when you actually enter into diff different uh, communities, we see similar things. So within the um, sight community, there is there are numerous uh, people within the sight community who are also pushing for this notion of whether it's hearing voices, uh, whether it's um, um, uh, this notion of, of psychiatric disability as being a, a, a gift that we receive, a problematic gift that we receive that we need to figure out how to handle or so forth, that disability um, has benefits as well as some drawbacks. And some of the drawbacks are because uh, the world is not designed uh, for us.